Today we have 91 overall World Series reward. One Pierre making his debut. So we're going for 191 or more likes on the video. Subscribe if y'all are new. We're getting closer and closer to 50,000 subscribers. If we hit it by May 1st, we'll be giving away $50 PSN. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this card. You used them, faced them, anything like that. Maybe let me know your thoughts on the other World Series rewards as well. We have them leading off kind of like an Ichiro type card. A lefty, a lot of speed, good contact, low power, high vision. I'm really hoping he has a good debut. Let's check out all of his attributes right here in case you guys do want to see him. Of course, amazing spieling, uh, spieling, amazing stealing speed. Fielding's not bad, just doesn't have a great arm. And I'm hoping he does have a really good debut today. I'll probably try bunting with him at least once to test out that 99 bunt rating. I'm recording this before the season ended yesterday. I'm really hoping that we play someone above 900. I would like to try out my first legend game of the year for ranked seasons. We're playing the New York Yankees. Oh, no. Now I hope it's not a legend. Opponent has 99 Clipper on the mound. Uh, Diamond, Eddie, Turner, Olsen, Sanchez, Reggie, Glaber, Grandy, and Judge. We got Shohei on the mound. Hoping to win this game. Hoping to have a good debut for Juan Pierre. And our opponent's 25-1. and one. Okay, so they've only lost one game in ranked seasons this year. Oh, yeah. There's no way that's legend difficulty. It looks like it's on Hall of Fame. Oh, Eddie Matthews. 1-2 count, man. Three hittable fastball. I need to make sure I'm not throwing hittable pitches. No hitter perfect game. Already gone. First batter of the game. Three and one to Justin Turner. And so far, this game's not going well for me on the mound. I think I'm throwing too many fastballs. That was a big thing at the moment. He could have easily gone home. He would have for sure made it. Two and two to Matt Olsen. Great dot on that corner, man. I'm so tempted to walk Gary Sanchez. I'm going to for sure hopefully pitch around him, not leave anything to hit. One and two to Gary Sanchez getting him to pop out. If we could get out of this inning without allowing any runs, man, that'd be pretty sick. Striking out Reggie Jackson. Let's go, baby. Escaping the inning. No runs allowed. I've learned not to throw so many fastballs. I threw a lot of fastballs first two batters. He timed them up pretty well. And uh, it's time for Juan Pierre's debut. Juan Pierre, 96 speed. No way he's safe. Look at that. Very late, slightly jammed. I don't know what I'm doing right there. I throw a slider down the middle. What's wrong with me, man? I just... And three straight outs, two strike outs, 0-2 oh count to Corey Kluber then, and he flies out. But three outs fall in the home run. Man, if I throw pitches down the middle, I'm going to lose this game. If I don't throw pitches down the middle, I feel like I'm giving myself a good chance. It seems like it's, uh, it's always working like that for me. When I throw pitches down the middle, I lose more games. It's weird. Eddie Matthews, pitch down the middle. What is it? A home run. Gosh, man, I frustrate myself playing ranked seasons. I really do. And just, like, playing this game in general because I know – what loses me games <laughs> and I still do it like obviously I'm not throwing it down the middle on purpose right but I feel like I should really focus more on the mound or something and try to prevent at least me from throwing it down the middle you know at least really try to miss out of the zone rather than hanging pitches down the middle right I feel like maybe I should do this with the splitter instead of accidentally hanging it down the middle I feel like that's just better oh Justin Turner turning on that inside pitch that actually was not down the middle that was a just good piece of hitting on the uh the fastball Matt Olson, I hope it's a double play. I doubt it, though. It's just such... It, it's so slow to turn it with a, a slow roller to the second baseman like that. Gary Sanchez popping out for out number two. There we go. Three and two to Reggie Jackson. Trying to paint that inside corner with the fastball. We miss. It's ball four. Labor Torres. Anything but another home run, man. Home runs kill me. We've allowed two of them. We're down two nothing. Full count to Glaber. I'm just going to really try to paint that corner with the fastball. Runners going, and we get out of the inning. Okay, only two runs allowed. I got to stop giving up hittable pitches and everything. I got to start hitting. I don't even have a hit yet this game. Whew, I'm overwhelmed. Let's take a deep breath. Let's hopefully play better. Reggie Stocker, my creative player, going to drop in. First hit of the game. There we go. Let's try to drive him in now. Joey Gallo, no. Yes. Hey, it's not a double play. Woo. There we go. Let's see if uh, Shohei Otani could get a base hit. Shohei Otani golfs out and misses it, man. I, I'm not good at the plate right now, guys. I'm uh, I'm not feeling locked in. Juan Pierre second at bat. He's 0 for 1. Let's try to get 1 for 2, maybe driving a run here. Juan Pierre drives in the run. There we go. Okay. It's 2 to 1. We cut the lead in half. He's 1 for 2 in his debut. Exactly what we needed. A nice little single. Perfect. I'm happy with this debut. It's a W in my book, even if we take the L. Adalberto Montesi with a base hit. Come on, drop, 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 drop. No, it's hanging up too long. Dang, man. That would have gotten uh, Pierre to third. At least we cut into the lead, though. At least we got some hits, got a run. Is that Juan Pierre making the one-handed grab in center field? 
Let's go, scoreless inning for Shohei. That makes me happy, guys. A lot of run each of the last two innings. It's nice to get back to that scoreless frame. Just like the first. Ryan Sandberg 0 for 1. Looking to be 1 for 2. And Ryan Sandberg gets a hit. Air. It's, it's not a hit. It's an air. Like, I know it's an air. But he, he gets on base. That's what I'm trying to say. Eddie Matthews. <laughs> what? Yo, what the heck was that? Okay. Wow. What an inning. And Glaber. No, don't go home. Don't go home. No, 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 no. Dang it, man, dude. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. This inning is so strange. Matt Olsen. I thought we had a three-run bomb. Matt Olsen with the ground into a double play. Man. Striking out Matt Olsen. Another scoreless frame. Okay, I feel like I'm coming into my groove with Shohei a little bit. Now I need to start hitting better because I'm not doing well so far against Kluber. Joey Gallo beating the shift. Okay. Shohei Otani. No. It's a double play, man. Oh, Lord. Okay. After five, it's two to one. That sucks. Glaber Torres with a nice base hit. Let's cut it off. There we go. Oh, man. I feel like uh, outfielders and just fielders in general. Let me know. You guys agree, disagree in the comment section. I feel like they don't lock into animations enough right now and i'm gonna be the show 20 especially online play i don't know about offline i haven't really done offline i did conquest and i still had joey gallo balls hitting off his noggin but uh i'm just curious man is anyone else noticing that just ground balls fly balls just you know defensive fielding plays do you guys feel like your outfielders aren't locking into animations uh as much as they should be or not even outfielders fielders in general i feel like it's just you know they're not locking in as much as they probably should be as we got three two to grandy let's try to strike him out good pitch Good pitch, baby. Another scoreless standing on our way to the bottom of the sixth. I need to try to tie it as soon as I can. I probably need to try to make Corey Clipper use a, four, a few more pitches. Let's see what he's at. We got Juan Pierre, who's one for two today, trying to be two for three. Let's see what, how many pitches he's at, though. 43. Yo, it's the sixth inning, and he's at 43 pitches. What's wrong with me? Juan Pierre striking out, but he's going to reach base with that 96 speed easily, right? Oh, yeah, easily. Let's go, man. Hey, that's what we get. He's on base twice this game now. Woo! Adalberto Montesi misses that, man. Oh, if I had the PCI a little bit more to the left, I think we might have had a two-run home run. Ryan Sandberg the other way. Like I said, man, outfielders don't lock into animations enough. In, in fielders, fielders in general. I keep saying outfielders, but it's fielders. The same thing happens on the infielders, too. As Eddie Matthews, wow. Ties the game at least. Yeah, ties the game, man. I'll take it. There we go. Nice. Two to two. As Glaber Torres misses the home run, man. I keep moving that PCI a little bit uh, a little bit off the ball. But after six, it's two to two. I feel like it should probably go to my bullpen, man. I feel like Shohei's a little bit low on energy. Eddie Matthews flying out. Another scoreless inning for us. He took on Corey Kluber, guys. He pinched it for Kluber. I feel like that's going to make me happy. I'm hoping we can hit the reliever. I'm interested to see who the first guy that he brings in is. We got Matt Olson. I think I might have said Matt Olson, Reggie Stocker, Joey Gallo facing Amir Garrett. I can't hit this card. Dang it. Never mind. I'm not happy you took him out. Reggie Stocker, my creative player with the base hit. There we go. One down off of Amir Garrett. Joey Gallo up the middle. That's big, baby. All right, guys. Two on, one down. Let's try to get that run across. Get Alonzo pinch hitting. He goes to Ryan Presley. What is this? What overall? 81, okay. Uh, decent Vila. Let's just go to a pinch hitter. Who do we have? I think maybe Duke Snyder. Yeah, Duke Snyder, baby, come through. This is why we have you on the bench exactly for this situation. Duke Snyder with the three-run pinch hit homer. Let's go. That makes me happy. Wow. Oh, my goodness. When Corey Kluber comes out, the runs come in. Let's go, baby. And Juan Pierre. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, he's out, man. Shoot, at least we got a base hit. Like I said, man, I'm happy it's a dub for his debut because he got a base hit earlier. Was it a triple? I don't remember. But either way, he got a base hit, and that makes me happy. It's Adalberto Mondes. He's coming up. Two down. Or, yeah, two down. Nobody on. And uh, we're looking for some more runs. If we can get him, that'd be okay. But otherwise, we're going to be going to the top of the eighth inning. 5-2. We got a bullpen. Ball for the Matt Olsen, right? Yeah, he's not going. Dang, man. 3-2. Should have just painted that corner with the fork ball. Didn't look like he wanted to go around at all. 
And uh, Gary Sanchez coming up now. Two and two to Gary Sanchez. Not a double play ball, I don't think. We might have been able to, but I just, I wanted to guarantee down. I didn't want to throw to second, not get it now. I think I would have though. Fruitcake, man. I'm stupid. Oh, and two to Reggie Jackson. We get the strikeout on our way to the bottom of the eighth inning. Let's try to get some more runs. Somehow, maybe get one peer, one more at bat. We'll see. Labor Torres with a base hit. There we go, man. I'm struggling a little bit this game, so it feels good to get one. Two down, about in the eighth inning. Hopefully, that's a two-out rally as uh, Matt Olson comes up. He's over three, looking for a home run. Matt Olson misses it, man. I got the pitch to hit a homer on, but we miss it. On our way to the top of the ninth inning, going to try to get these final three outs, secure the win, see what our rating went up by in Juan Pierre's debut. Assume when we get the final three outs, okay? Two and two to Glaber, dotting up that corner for a strikeout. There we go. Curtis Granderson striking out, man. I don't know why I'm so happy. I just really want to win this game. I want to win my last game of the season. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but uh, the season ended yesterday, and I'm recording this before the season ended. So um, I'm just trying to get my rating a little bit higher, try to get the win. Hey, yo, we threw a fastball down the middle. We got runs to work with two of them, and to be exact, uh, one out to go here in the game. As Joey Gallo hits a bomb off of me. That's uh, that's not what we wanted. He was pinch hitting for somebody. I'm not sure who. Now he's pinch hitting for the pitcher. I'm just going to go to Michael Kopech here, man. I was warming him up. You know, I figured we could we could try to, you know, blow the fastball by him. He's going to be licking fastball, though. First pitch. So we're going to change it. Watch this. I guarantee he's early if he swings. Look at that, guys. Let's see how early it was. Let's just see how early. Okay, very early. So now he's going to be like, okay, maybe he'll throw me another changeup since I was way in in front of it. Nope. 102 mile an hour. Oh. Hey, it worked out, though. He was late on it. He was. I, you, you all saw the opposite field. He was late on it a little bit. But uh, we got the win. 5-3. to three, And uh, Juan Pierre, I'm happy with the debut, man. He had a base hit. As long as, as long as he doesn't go over, I'm happy. And it's time to see what our rating went up by in my final game. Probably final game. I don't think I'll play more of the season. That definitely did not feel like a legend game. So our opponents below us, I'm guessing we're only going to get like 13 or 14. If I had to put money on it, I would maybe go with 14. I guess I don't really know and hey 14 yo 14 I really hope our opponents made World Series this season if not I feel bad yo they were two away oh dude I, I really hope they've already made World Series we're up to 920 um I don't I don't have a good enough team in my opinion to push for top 50 I feel like if I did have a good enough team and I really grinded it. I might be able to. So maybe I need to go hard in Battle Royale and start trying to get some stubs so I can get collections done or something. And maybe next season try to make a push. But we're up to 920. Uh, it's not bad. We got Kluber ready to go. We got Hal Newhouse ready to go. We got Michael Kopech ready to go. And, uh, you know, we do have a pretty solid team. I'm thinking I might take Juan P around. Maybe give him one more shot. I just... I didn't really like how a swing felt for me that game. I, I would maybe prefer Grandy. Grandy's been killing it for me all year. That's a 402 average. And uh, I'm just not you know 100% sure what I want to do with my team I would love to have like Mickey Mantle out there or something but uh we'll see what happens we'll see what we do and uh I think we're going to be ending the first season at a 920 rating it's currently 4 p.m and the new season starts in one hour so because I recorded this yesterday so it's uh, I'm a central time kid and uh yeah I don't think I'll be able to play anymore this season but if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe comment anything down below feel free to follow on any of those social medias all that good stuff I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day Peace out. Hey, it never fails to just put a smile on my face and make my day better receiving a message like this, especially after a game. Farming Mamba GG's, man. If you're watching this video, hopefully you love, you're seeing yourself in this. I appreciate the kind words. I appreciate the love. And I really hope that you've already made World Series, man. I hope I didn't ruin your run.